Hi guys, my name is Kelly Benton from Kelly Benton Photography and I'm here to discuss a little bit about photo cropping. A lot of people don't realize that when they send their photos to print labs, they're being cropped. And you might get your photo back and you can't quite put your finger on why it looks weird, but that's probably the, the answer. Uh, so we're going to discuss how to crop your own photos and how to figure out what size would work best for your picture. So let's say this photo came from your daughter's wedding and you want to put it in an 8x10 and hang it on your wall because you think that would look really nice. So if you bring this photo into Photoshop, uh, you can select the crop tool here and up here you'll see width and height. So for 8x10, you'll put 10 wide, 8 high, and then it will automatically make your crop tool that size. So no matter what you do, it will always stay proportionally 8x10. So you just click up here in the corner and drag it down, and when it hits the bottom, that is the size that you need, which is not good. This 8x10 would look awful on your wall because it is cropping off Grandpa, it's cropping off Cousin Lucy, and that's what it would end up looking like when it's printed. So you can explore different options using this method. Uh, you could try a 30, 30 wide and 20 high, and that would fit perfectly. And it includes everything in the background, and it would print just as you see it right there. So let's say your photo comes and it is a little off-center like this one. If you send this photo to a local uh, grocery store or drugstore, they're probably just going to crop it um, in the center. It's probably just automatic. So let's try 8x10 again. And if this was cropped in the center, it would be about there, which looks terrible. Um, so what you want to do before you send these in is crop them yourself. So let's try a different size. Um, let's do 5x7. 5x7 is not quite as bad as 8x10 because it doesn't cut off as much. So if 5x7 was center cropped, it would look like this and it would still be off center and you still would not like the photo. Um, but if you crop it yourself, you can bring it in here to Photoshop and you can use your mouse or even your arrow keys on your keyboard to adjust where it crops. And that looks about centered. And then when you're done, just press enter. And voila, your picture is beautiful and centered and ready to go to print. And make sure you save it and don't save over the original. Save it with a different name and then send that off to your print shop and your pictures will look beautiful. If you have any other questions or comments about this video, feel free to comment below. And if you have any ideas for other videos you'd like to see, I would love to hear from you. Once again, my name is Kelly Benton from Kelly Benton Photography. Thanks for stopping by.